in June 2017, eight friends from West Yorkshire went on a holiday of a lifetime. A wedding in Las Vegas, four RVs around part of the Grand Circle and party time in downtown Vegas. Come with us on our adventures. We flew Virgin Atlantic from Manchester to Las Vegas. The hospitality was very good. In fact, it was all too much for some of the group. The limousine picked us up and the party started all the way to the Alara by Hilton Grand Vacations. The hotel is near the Planet Hollywood Resort and the Miracle Mile Mall where we had breakfast. Then we spent the day sightseeing. We went to places like Caesars Palace, the Venetian, the Flamingo Hotel before we um, arrived for the hen party in the stag do. The Flamingo Hotel opened in 1946 and has a garden courtyard which is a wildlife habitat for flamingos. Most of the hen and stag do at the Big Elvis show in Harrah's Bar is unfortunately censored. The day of the wedding dawned. Everybody all dressed up in their rock and roll gear, riding along in the limo to the Graceland Wedding Chapel, famously where Bon Jovi got married. Elvis presided over the newlyweds, Mr and Mrs Brumfield, and the other couples all renewed their wedding vows. It was a fabulous day, and it was topped off with an evening entertainment with Elvis. the day has arrived. Off we went to pick up our road bear, Leprechaun by Coachman, 28 foot slider side RVs. First night, we stayed at Lake Mead RV Village at Boulder Beach. Dawn breaks and we head out in the RVs to the Hoover Dam.
the road again. This time we're heading out onto Route 66. We stopped off on Route 66 at the Hackberry General Store to buy some souvenirs. It was full of old cars, a real scrapyard heaven. And for those eagle-eyed among you who follow our adventures, this is where the bandana came from. Tonight's stop was on Route 66 at the general store in Seligman that had its own camping ground at the back. We had our tea that evening in the famous Roadkill Cafe with the slogan, you kill it, we grill it. I think that evening we had at Elk Burgers. the morning in Seligman having a look round the stores with all their memorabilia and the souvenirs for tourists. They even have uh, people with horses trotting up and down for you to take their photos. Still on Route 66, we stopped off in Williams for some lunch before heading off in the afternoon towards the Grand Canyon. We arrived at the Grand Canyon and spent two nights at the camper village in Tusayan. Next morning, most of the group went out on a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon with Papillon helicopters and uh, Danny Ricky was our pilot, for those of you that know your F1.
After exploring the canyon on the little bus, we then took a jeep safari around the outer edges of the canyon. We finished the day with a superb sunset. What a day to spend at the canyon. After a fabulous time at the Grand Canyon, we set off the next morning on Highway 64, heading for Lake Powell. After buying souvenirs from the local Indians, Mrs. Law decided she was going to drive. Mother trucker! We're running away into the back here. Are you on cruise? Yeah, on cruise, but he's dropping down in the first gear. Oh, he's, he's trying to hold you back then, isn't it? On gears. We're not, we're not, Anne's just running behind, so she's running into you all the time. Stunning pictures, Sam. No, I don't want to play with that trailer thing before I engage. He's going downhill. We arrived at Lake Powell and stayed for two nights at the Warweep RV and campground. Despite the fire, it was really hot in Warweep. We parted late into the night with the park ranger we had marshmallows over the fire and we played lots of uh, dice gambling games and lady won all the dollars another beautiful morning at lake powell and we celebrated our 28th wedding anniversary there we all went out on a boat trip. We did the Antelope Canyon tour and saw lots of Native American artwork on the inside of the canyons.
We left Lake Powell to head back to the canyons, but first we took a short detour to the spectacular Horseshoe Bend. We entered into Utah and the Dixie National Forest and the scenery was breathtaking. The pitch for the next two nights is Ruby's Inn RV Park and Campground. It was Brummie's birthday and he treat us all to a knees up at Ebenezer's Bar and Grill. Day two at Bryce Canyon. The boys head out to explore the canyon on quad bikes and the girls took a more leisurely route on horseback. We left Bryce Canyon and entered into Zion National Park for our last canyon of the trip. We spent two nights at the Zion Canyon Campground and RV Park. This afternoon we went tubing down the Virgin River. Really, really good fun and only $20 each bargain. Is that a waterproof camera? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> The next morning, some of the group were off bright and early to climb Angel's Landing. 
Although we didn't make it right to the very end because it was too busy, the views were spectacular and exhilarating. Today's the day, sadly, it's time to leave the canyons and head back down to Nevada. Our last RV pitch is the Clark County shooting range where we all got chance to shoot. After a fantastic 11 night RV road trip, it's now time to party in downtown Vegas. We stayed in the downtown Grand, which really was very grand. Spent a couple of nights in the Hogs and Heifers. Can't understand why this was Slaw's favourite bar. <laughs> As the temperature continued to soar, it was time for a rooftop pool party at the downtown Grand. Mm -hmm. 